Hey, it's Randy Wolf with QuoteMyMedicare.org. We have some pretty big news today, which could mean those receipts at CVS may be getting a little bit longer with all of the information and ads and coupons and things like that. CVS. Are you serious? This actually isn't that bad. Oh, it's a Walgreens receipt. CVS announced today that it has agreed to acquire Aetna for $69 billion, that's right, a billion with a B, dollars today. Now, this would be the largest insurance acquisition in U.S. history. That being said, it's still not a done deal. Antitrust regulators would have to approve the deal, and they've been apprehensive in the past. Uh, just recently, uh, a deal with Humana and Aetna uh, was nixed, and also uh, a deal that was actually previously before that with Walgreens and Rite Aid uh, was also nixed. This deal would be more of a vertical deal versus a competitor buying out another competitor, and vertical deals are usually less worrisome uh, for the regulators. Aetna has 22 million members, while CVS has over 10,000 pharmacies across the country, as well as over 1,000 walk-in clinics. This shakeup could affect other companies as well. For example, Amazon uh, has had their eye in getting into the pharmaceutical business for quite a while. Now, this could be kind of cool. And also, some speculate potentially that this happening, if this deal goes through, it could sort of force the hand of Walmart to potentially uh, attempt to buy out or acquire Humana. Uh, and that deal itself could be about a $50 billion deal if, if, if that was to happen. United Healthcare remains the biggest player in the insurance arena. They're the largest health insurance provider in the country. Uh, they own over 400 surgical centers around the U.S. and they've also had tremendous success with their PBM. United Healthcare's PBM is called Optum. Now, CVS also has a PBM of their own, and that's called Caremark. Uh, the Caremark uh, PBM was established or became officially Caremark back in 2007. A deal with Aetna would mean that CVS Corporation would have an insurance company, would have a PBM, and also would have 10,000 plus pharmacies across the country. This combination would mean that CVS would be in more than likely a better position to negotiate for lower drug prices uh, with pharmaceutical companies, and then ultimately would probably pass that savings down to members that have uh, Aetna that shop and get their prescriptions at CVS. There could also be some negative aspects to the deal. For example, one that comes to mind is like local pharmacies, your mom and pop uh, pharmacies around the country, they could be affected in an adverse way uh, with a deal like this. As more information comes in, we'll keep you posted. Uh, love to hear your feedback and opinions. So if you would, if you're watching this on Facebook or if you're watching it on YouTube uh, or you may be on our site, I'm not sure. But either way, please do comment below and let us know what you think about an acquisition like this. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.